How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. You guys know we built the, um, we had the go-kart build off. We did the purple go-kart. Go um, we are, and you've seen the new video out. I had the new one on the new go-kart that we're going to be building. Uh, that is the uh, Yurf Dog. I think that's what it's called, Yurf Dog. And uh, we got the motor. We're going to be putting a 420 Predator engine on there. And what I have here is the 420 Hemi uh, motor. And I know pretty much absolutely nothing about this motor. So this is not a review. Uh, this is just basically me opening this motor up and showing you what it comes with. Um, now the Hemi engine, uh, I don't know if you know it. When you go to buy these, there's two different ones. You got a Hemi and then a non-Hemi. And there's ways of telling whether it's a Hemi engine or a non-Hemi engine. And I'm going to show you that um, in this video. So basically, uh, we do got the Hemi engine here. And this is going to be going on the Yurf Dog go-kart. And we're going to get it open and I'll show you what it comes with. Okay, um, if you guys are out there and you're looking for the Hemi engine, uh, when you go to pick this up, you want to look for this item number right here. Look for that item number. It's up on the top corner up here, 60349. And then you're going to see it again down here. It's going to be right here, 60349. And then you're going to go to the back here, and you're going to look at this right here, match, maximum torque, 19.8 foot-pounds. Okay? Uh, I think your Predator, uh, the non-Hemi 420, is going to be 18 torque pounds. And this one's 19. So that's a good way to know if you have the Hemi engine or you have the non-Hemi engine. Okay, um, like I said, I don't know anything about this motor, but we're going to get it opened up, unboxed here, and see what it comes with. Uh, like I said, though, I wasn't sure if I needed to buy solenoids, but they tell me this has the key switch already on it. So, I don't think I have to buy anything, but we're going to see. Now, being that I'm basically here by myself right now, we're just going to cut the box because I'm not going to pick the motor up. By the way, it's a pretty heavy motor. And if there's something wrong, we got to take it back. We're probably going to get it without a box. As my granddaughter would say, ta-da! Now this is, like I said, a pretty good sized motor. This is a 13 horsepower engine made by Predator. And like I said, I don't know much about it. We're just opening it up. I'm going to show you what the motor looks like. So far, it looks like we got a handy uh, book, probably an owner's manual, which we'll probably never look at because the guys never look at owner's manuals. But we might want to peek in it one day. <clears throat> this is a whopper of a motor. It's huge. And uh, just from looking at it, my experiences with small engines, it definitely doesn't need a uh, solenoid or anything like that on it. It looks to me like we're basically just going to hook a battery to this thing and be able to take off. And I'll show you why. Okay, as you can see on the front of the Predator engine, you have a key switch right here. Oh. Now, I did open the manual and look in there because I was curious what wires we needed. And basically, we just need a hot wire from the uh, solenoid here to the battery and then a ground. 
and this guy actually should be uh, good to go uh, it should be all good we're gonna have to add oil we'll have to add our own oil to it and we'll do the same way we did the small engine the uh, little 212 I did a break in on it if you guys want to watch it I'll leave a link at the top of the page uh, for the break in on it and uh, this one will be done the same way I'll use regular oil and then we'll use full synthetic oil on it uh, but I did want to get this out and show you guys because we're going to be getting started on the new build uh, go power sports as you can see I got their nice banner up there they're going to be sending me out some parts uh, to help me out on this build and I think we got an awesome build coming up I think you guys are going to love it and believe it or not we're going to run the crap out of this thing when we get it going uh, hopefully this thing all turns out really nice and maybe we can throw some nice rooster tails for you guys so that's a look at the motor uh, seems to me like it's going to be a pretty easy setup all right just a couple little things there it does come with two keys and it comes with an altitude kit and uh, you would use this at different altitudes and it's it's in your book and you do have the kit uh, it says for 3,000 and 6,000 foot so and then it comes with a spark plug uh, wrench uh, to get the spark plug in and out uh, one thing about these motors you need to put your stable in there or they will void your warranty so make sure when you get it and you fill it up with fuel put some stable in there um, and you got to run it every month so long so definitely want to keep it running and uh, moving around a little bit so I hope you guys uh, keep your eyes open for this new build it's coming soon it's not going to be long we're going to have videos popping in here on the new build and like I said uh, go power sports is going to give me a hand with some parts and uh, you guys check out and see what uh, we get to build this cart with I think you'll like it I like to tell everybody thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe leave me thumbs up thumbs down or a comment if you'd like till next time